with food prices going up, public transport fares going up, electricity bill going up, water bill going up, GST going up, home prices going up, COE prices going up. Everything is going up except for your pay. When this auntie was asked if she had enough money to retire in Singapore, here's her response. <laughs> With everything becoming more and more expensive, some of the interviewees mentioned that they have to take on multiple jobs or even have to come back to work during retirement. This may sound depressing, but this is the reality. So in this video, we will actually try to answer the reporter's question of how much money is enough to live in Singapore. Then at the end, I will also give you some tips on what you can do to increase your wealth. Also, do join my telegram group t.me slash calinvest to discuss or ask any questions that you may have. Alright, let's jump right in. For the most realistic number on how much you need in order to survive in Singapore, we can check out the Minimum Income Standard 2023, which shows that the minimum cost of living per pet in Singapore is $1,680. And if you have a partner and two children, this amount will go up to $6,693. Take note that this is just enough to cover your basic standard of living yeah? such as $1,673 a month on food, $1,405 for housing, and $1,071 for education. With a median salary of $5,070 and a median household income of $10,099 in Singapore, most of us are fortunate enough to not have to worry about having a proper shelter over our heads or putting food on the table. But obviously, whether this is enough for you or not depends entirely on your lifestyle. If you stay in a landed property, drive a Tesla car, and eat chai fan with fish every day, ah, then you will definitely need a lot more than just $6,070. For example, in an Asian boss interview, a guy was quoted saying that he will need to earn $9,000 to $11,000 a month to be able to live comfortably. At this income, you will have enough money to own a condo and a car. But besides having enough money for your day-to-day -day living expenses, one can only truly say that money is considered enough when you do not have to worry about your finances during retirement. Again, how much you will need for your retirement depends on different factors, such as the lifestyle that you want after retirement, like do you want to sit in front of the TV and watch Media Corp all day long? Or do you want to go skydiving every day like this ama? When do you plan to retire? Do you have any investments and so on? According to the Minimum Income Standard Report, you will need at least $1,492 per month for your basic needs during your retirement. However, if you are planning to live like a rich Angmore during your retirement, you will need a lot more. Or more specifically, $1,118,375 according to the research conducted by Net Credit. This will include renting an apartment, taking the taxi every now and then, and owning two cars. Good news guys, Mumu Singapore has finally enabled ACATS transfer, which means now you can easily transfer your stocks, options, and cash positions into Mumu Singapore with just a few simple clicks of a button. And if you are a new user, you can choose between either the welcome rewards promo worth up to $730 or the transfer in promo, which lets you earn one free Apple stock that's currently worth around $178 when you transfer in more than $5,000 Singapore dollars worth of shares. But here are some of the reasons why one in four Singapore residents trade with Momo Singapore. One, they offer one of the lowest trading fees out there. For US stocks, they are charging zero commission fee and a flat platform fee of just 99 cents per order. This means the higher the transaction amount, the more you get to save on fees. Two, Mumu has something to offer to both beginner and expert investors. With an intuitive design and user-friendly feature, you will find navigating the platform a breeze while allowing you to easily access a wealth of investment tools and resources such as advanced charting tools, company earnings, and financial breakdowns. And three, Mumu Singapore has really good customer support. You can reach them via the local hotline and live chat, both of which are available for 24 hours during trading days and are even available during holidays and weekends. So what are you waiting for? Do sign up to Mumu Singapore using my link down below. With that being said, let's get back to the video. However, while having enough money for retirement is important, you should try not to focus on saving up too much for retirement. Okay, okay, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but the idea is this. If you were to save too much for retirement, but accidentally leave the world before you get there, then oh, 
you will have wasted your life earning that money since you will not have the chance to enjoy that money. This is also known as the concept of die with zero as popularized by Bill Perkins which says that people should aim to die with zero money in their account. Though, I'm not saying that you should spend every single cent you earn before you die. Ah. Later, you haven't died but you use up all your money then GG liao. Instead, the idea is to maximize your experiences and happiness with the money that you have while you are still alive. For example, $1,000 in your 30s would allow you to travel and fulfill your dreams while the same $1,000 in your 60s would probably only allow you to pay for your medical bills or nursing home. That's why it's important to find out what you want to achieve in life. What are your goals and priorities? Focus spending on experiences rather than possessions because experiences create lasting memories that can bring happiness and fulfillment while the pleasure of owning a physical possession will fade over time. To do this, you need to find a sweet spot between how much you should be saving and spending so that you do not run out of money during retirement and yet not die with too much money. To help you out, I've created a free retirement calculator where you'll be able to estimate what's your remaining assets when you pass away based on when you are going to retire what's the rate of return, and so on. Next, according to a study published by a university, the more you earn, the happier you are. Okay, this one you don't say I also know. That's why this auntie can laugh at the question. Obviously, money allows us to enjoy the luxuries of life, such as staying in big condos, driving branded cars, and dining at fancy restaurants. There is something known as the fulfillment curve, which explores the relationship between the amount that you spend against your fulfillment level. The more you spend, the more fulfilling it is. But once you go past the luxury level, you come to a point where your fulfillment is at its peak. After which, spending more money will not increase your fulfillment. While having more money is a good thing, it is not everything. There are things that cannot be bought with money, such as relationships and health. Fun fact, most Singaporeans rank families as more important than wealth. But of course, money is still important due to the high cost of living in Singapore, which according to a survey, the high cost of living is one of Singaporeans' top concerns. That's why it's important to strike a balance between money and happiness. Because if you have a lot of money but are feeling miserable, then it is meaningless no matter how much money you have. So what are some things that you can do to increase your wealth? First, Make sure that you are parking your short-term savings in high-interest savings accounts such as the UOB1 account where you can earn a minimum of 3.85% all the way to 7.8% if you can fulfill that criteria. But if you don't earn a fixed income, you can consider Mary Bank which gives 2.88% or even money market funds which are currently giving 3.7%, both of which don't require you to fulfill any criteria. Then, for money that you do not need in the short to mid term, instead of letting them sit idle in the bank like a lazy bum bum, you should just invest it. That's because you are effectively losing money to inflation if you just put your money in the bank to earn that tiny bit of interest. Some easy investments that you can go for are stuff like the S&P 500, VWRA, or even QQQ. There are also many other tricks to make your money work harder, such as spending with credit cards to earn cashbacks or miles, topping up your CPF account, or using the correct apps to pay for expenses, and so on. But most importantly, you should always spend within your means to make sure you don't overspend. For example, if you are looking to purchase a house, look for one that is within your budget. Or if you really need a car to go around, consider getting a second-hand car instead of a brand new car. Okay, here are my thoughts. The idea of having enough money could mean different things to different people as it depends on your current life stage, spending habits, income level, and your own goals. While having enough money is important, it is not everything. Yeah? Having more money does not necessarily make you happier, nor does having less money may not make you less happy. There are other things in life that are just as or even more important, such as family, friends, and health. So, Instead of constantly trying to reach for the next bucket of gold, it's important that we also set aside some time for the things that truly matter in our life.